In this video, we're going to talk about the Relative Strength Index, abbreviated RSI. So what does this tell us? The RSI is an indicator. It tells you if a stock is overbought or oversold. The RSI is an oscillator that varies between 0 to 100. Now, when the RSI indicator is less than 30, this typically means that the stock is oversold. If the RSI value is above 70, this typically indicates that the stock is overbought. So here we have the price chart on the top and on the bottom, we have a graph that gives us the values for our relative strength index. So notice that when the price of the stock goes down, the RSI goes down with it. When the price of the stock goes up, the RSI values go up as well. The lower blue line at 30 indicates an oversold condition and the upper blue line at 70 indicates the overbought condition. So here, the stock is overbought. I'm gonna write OB for overbought. And here it's oversold. So you could see here, the price is very low and at the top, it's very high. And so the RSI indicator is very useful in determining if a stock is overbought or oversold. So it's a great way to screen for stocks, but it's not a good way to determine if you have a buy or sell signal. Because let's say if you chose to sell the stock, there's three things that can happen. The price of the stock could go down and you've made the right decision by selling. Good job. Or the stock could go sideways or the stock could continue to climb up in price and you've made the wrong decision. You sold too early. But either case, if you bought the stock at the bottom, that is somewhere in that region, and you sold it at the top, you still made a good decision because you made money on your investment. But what if you were to buy the stock here? Thinking that it did a pullback and it's about to go back up in price. Maybe you're looking at the indicator and it was close to the oversold region. Well, you could be right. The stock may go up in price or it could go sideways or you could be wrong and it could go down. So the relative strength index, it's simply an indicator. It doesn't tell you where the price is gonna go, either up or down or sideways. It simply tells you the condition of the stock at that given moment, if the stock is currently overbought or oversold. Now, this could be very useful as a screener if you wanna screen for stocks that have done a pullback. So you wanna search for stocks that are oversold because stocks that have done a pullback typically will rise up in price if it's in a long-term uptrend. But nevertheless, there's no guarantee because let's say you, you bought the stock and it started to go up. Bad news might enter the market, causing the price of the stock to go down. And that's just something that you can't predict. So you really don't know what's gonna happen in the market. So this indicator is very useful for screening stocks and determining if the stock is oversold or overbought. But alone, it's not wise to use it in order to make buy or sell decisions. You need to look at other things in addition to that. Now, another term that you may need to be familiar with is something called divergence. Notice that on the right side of the chart, the price is increasing. However, the RSI value is decreasing. So because the price is going up, but the RSI value is going down, that is an example of divergence. So this could mean that the stock is losing momentum, a reversal may occur, 
but it doesn't guarantee a reversal. The price may go sideways and then it may go back up. You don't know, but something is changing. So that's another thing that you may have to look out for if you're going to use uh, the RSI as an indicator.